Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week's video is all about how to be elegant. I try to be very timeless and chic with my personal style and I actually picked up a few tips on how to achieve that on the way so I thought why not just combine them in this video and share them with you. If you like the video please do leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel I would be incredibly grateful but without further ado let's get right into the video. Tip number one is all about good quality. You want your clothing items to be good quality because it is going to show. Not only are they going to be way more comfortable to wear, but also people can see if you have loose threads hanging from your clothes or if the seams are straight, things like that. And also materials are a huge thing. Go for natural materials over synthetic ones. They will feel better on your skin. They will feel better when you touch them. You, they will look better. So I highly recommend you going for quality over quantity. You will definitely not regret it. Tip number two is all about your color palette. I would suggest go for a neutral color palette. These kinds of colors like black, white, beige, grays, they will not go out of fashion or style, whatever you want to call it. Trend colors like, I think this season we've got highlighter colors, lime green, hot pink, all of that. They will last a season, maybe two, and then they will be out of style. But all of these neutral shades you can wear year after year after year and you don't have to worry for them to at some point not be fashionable anymore. So it's not only about looking elegant right now, but it's also about looking elegant in five years time. And when you choose these colors, you will definitely achieve this look. Also, if you go for a neutral color palette, you will be able to combine your clothes quite easily because all of the colors are quite similar and go together. You can try coming up with tonal looks, so that's when you choose one color and then just work with different shades, for example, or you could just go for a monochromatic look. That's like very effortlessly chic and actually quite easy to put together and still you look stylish and elegant when wearing it. The main thing really is just you don't want to create a bold but rather a harmonious look. And that is simple as that. Tip number three, invest in timeless pieces. So the nice thing about elegant styling and fashion is that it is not bound to time. Trends are, elegance is not. And by going for pieces that will stand the test of time that you want to wear in five years to come or 10 years to come, you will always be elegant. That's just, that's just it. And if you go for trend pieces, which I would not recommend, you will be out of fashion pretty quickly. So making out these classic pieces is key to looking elegant and chic. So for example, go for silk blouses, go for blazers, go for pencil skirts, all of these clothing items you will have in your wardrobe for many years to come. And that is exactly what you should be looking for. Tip number four, good tailoring. Even if you followed all of these previous steps, it will be no good if the clothes don't fit you right. This is one of the most important things to consider when you choose your wardrobe, buy clothes that fit you. Otherwise, you will end up looking a tiny little bit careless and even good quality or nice fabrics won't help you with that. But this problem is very easy to be solved. Just pick a tailor and take your clothes there. He can fix it very quickly. So if your arms are a bit too long or if your hem is a bit too long, they can do that for you. You can have your clothes tailored to your body and that will make a very, very big impact, I can tell you. So if you've got clothes in your wardrobe that you love but don't quite fit you right, just take them to the tailor and they will fix them for you. 
Tip number five, well-groomed clothes. I mean, all of us know we should wash our clothes or clean our clothes regularly, but also you want to use steamers because if your clothes are creased, you will end up also looking careless. So I would highly suggest you get like a handheld steamer and whenever you wear your clothes and you see little creases, just, just steam it very quickly. Putting in some effort to take care of your clothes before wearing them, it's just this little thing that makes you look a lot more classic and put together in my opinion. So if you don't have one, get a steamer and steam your clothes before you wear them. Tip number six. This tip is focusing on posture. And to be honest, I think this is something that has such a huge impact on how elegant and classic you look. Because however good your clothes are or however good they fit your body, this will all be meaningless if you are not confident when wearing them. If you're hunched over, if you look to the floor, if you can't get yourself to raise your eyes. If you just look as if you're hiding from the world, no clothes will ever make you look elegant. You have to have a certain amount of confidence to stand up tall and to look up, to be open for the world. And I know this can be tricky at first if you're used to just hiding away a little bit, but I will promise you, the more you practice it and the more you do it, the easier it will get. And it is you who decide who you want to be and how you want to be perceived. And this is something that is entirely up to you, which is amazing because that means you can change it. I'm not saying that it's going to be easy, but I'm saying that it's possible. And I think that is something that made me feel a lot more confident already knowing that I can change it and that I have the complete control about it. Tip number seven, choose dainty over chunky. So this tip focuses on jewelry. Going for dainty, fine and small jewelry will make you look a lot more elegant and classy. Also, in this case, less is more. You really don't want to over accessorize. You just want to pick maybe a pair of earrings, a small necklace, a few dainty rings, and that's it. You don't want to go overboard with that. And again, go for good quality. You will not only see it, but also you will have pieces that you can wear for decades. I mean, I'm planning on hopefully passing down my gold jewelry to my children one day. So this is something to also consider. Go for timeless designs and go for good quality because then you will get so much out of these pieces really and they are amazing to have in your collection and they will be investment pieces that you will cherish your whole entire life. So I think this is something really important. Don't buy cheap jewellery basically and don't buy trend-led jewellery. Go for something small, dainty, timeless and good. Tip number eight, stick to neutral makeup. Of course, it's fun to go for like a very bold and colorful eye look, but sticking to neutral tones will just bring out your inner beauty. And elegance is oftentimes associated with a certain amount of minimalism and even restraint. A natural neutral makeup look is definitely preferred to a very bold one. Tip number nine, well-kept nails. I think this is such a small detail, but it does have a huge impact. You don't want to only groom your clothes, you also want to take care of your body. And I think nails is a very important part of this. A few tips, I would keep it as natural as possible. I wouldn't put like fake nails on my nails, apart from when my nails are so brittle that they just break whenever they grow a little longer. Then all right but other than that I would keep it as natural as possible go for neutral shades if you feel a bit more bold maybe go for a red I like to do that actually and don't have your nails too long because that's gonna in my opinion it looks cheap and also you can't really do anything with your hands 
So I, I really like the length that I have. It elongates my fingers, but it's just not too long. And I think that's the way to go. You want to have a little bit of extra length, but you don't want it to interfere with your everyday life. Tip number 10, small bags versus big bags. So I know right now big bags are a trend, but if you want to be elegant, just don't follow trends. That's a very basic thing that you can get in your brain. Don't follow trends. Big bags can be very practical, but I think they just swallow you up because they are so big and they are like the main focal point of your whole entire outfit because you can almost hide behind your bag. And smaller bags, they just look proportionate and they are part of the outfit and don't make the outfit. You know what I mean? So I would always go for a smaller bag and also it doesn't only look more chic and elegant, but it's also good for your shoulders because you don't carry around so much stuff and it's not going to be really heavy on your shoulders because I get that. If I carry too much stuff with me, my shoulders start to ache after quite a short period of time and with a smaller bag that doesn't happen as fast because you simply can't take that many things. So another benefit of that. All right, guys, so this was my video. I really do hope you enjoyed it and that these tips might be helpful to you. If you like the video, please do leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would be incredibly grateful. I hope you're going to have a lovely week. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you for next week's video. Goodbye.